Gutelt, on Democrats' midterm messaging. Fox News host Greg Gutfeld goes over this week's leftovers and Gutfeld, panelists react to President Biden's Wednesday speech in which he warned midterm voters of the threats to democracy ahead of the midterm election. Real-time host Bill Maher offered a rather grim monologue about what he sees happening after Tuesday's midterm elections. Well, we had a good run, Maher began his new rules closer. I know that's not really a rule but since everything in America is about to change in a very fundamental way, what the F? Rules are about to go out the window. Tuesday's election day and I know I should probably tell you to vote and what honest to God is really the most important election ever. So. OK, yes, you should vote. And it should be for the one party that still stands for democracy preservation. It's also a waste of breath because anyone who believes that is already voting and anyone who needs to learn that isn't watching and no one in America can be persuaded of anything anymore anyway. Marr complained how the January 6 hearings have changed nobody's mind despite the masterful job laying out the case against former President Trump noting that polls of people who say he did nothing wrong went up three points, blaming it all on a partisan America. Ben Franklin said our country was a republic, if you can keep it. Well, we can't, Marr told his audience. And unless a miracle happens on Tuesday, we didn't. Democracy is on the ballot, and unfortunately, it's going to lose and once it's gone, it's gone. It's not somebody who can change your mind about in reverse. That's gender. Bill Maher, the Paul Pelosi attack is latest in the Cold Civil War. Real-time host Bill Maher. Real-time host Bill Maher, HBO. The HBO star predicted that once Republican retake both chambers of Congress, they'll begin impeaching Biden and never stop over a myriad of things, making the president a crippled duck when he goes up against the 2024 trump Kerry Lake ticket. Bill Maher. Monsters like Herschel Walker can be GOP candidates when voters don't like what Dems are selling. And even if Trump loses, it doesn't matter. On Inauguration Day 2025, he's going to show up whether he's on the list or not. And this time, he's not going to take no for an answer because this time, he will have behind him the army of election deniers that is being elected in four days, Marr said. There are almost 300 candidates on the ballot this year, who don't believe in ballots, and they'll be the ones writing the rules and monitoring how votes are counted in 24. Former U.S. President Donald Trump, L., embraces Arizona Republican nominee for Governor Carrie Lake, who he has endorsed, during a campaign rally attended by former U.S. President Donald Trump at Legacy Sports USA on October 9, 2022 in Mesa, Arizona. Former U.S. President Donald Trump, L., embraces Arizona Republican nominee for Governor Carrie Lake, who he has endorsed, during a campaign rally attended by former U.S. President Donald Trump at Legacy Sports USA on October 9, 2022 in Mesa, Arizona. Mario Tamas slash Getty Images This really is the crossing the Rubicon moment when the election deniers are elected, which is often how countries slide into authoritarianism. Not with tanks in the streets, but by electing the people who then have no intention of ever giving it back. This is how it happens. Hitler was elected. So it was Mussolini, Putin, Erdogan, Viktor Orban. This is the it can't happen to us moment that's happening to us right now. We just don't feel it yet. We're the Titanic right after the iceberg hit, he said. Bill Maher, liberals shouldn't hate Pence, McConnell bar since they accepted Biden's election victory. Marr continued, and honestly, too many Americans just don't care. And won't even care after it happens. Because they never followed politics to begin with. And we're never taught in school what democratic government was supposed to look like. So how sad can they be about losing something they never knew they had? He continued. A Pennsylvania voter votes early in Lebanon County. A Pennsylvania voter votes early in Lebanon County. Fox News. Marr went on by offering a little farewell to the things that really did make America great that now we're going to lose forever like the peaceful transfer of power, the Bill of Rights and the rule of law. 